Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 20. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I was coming over here to do some stump removal and I noticed we have weeds. So, I decided, well, it's time to start a recording. Um, I did get the rest of the logs over here cleaned up. I did a couple loads, which I will show you now. I'm trying a method that I got from a comment the other day of using the whoa that's a little wonky move over we'll try it again I don't know if I... I don't know. I don't know if I should try to angle it so that I get it on two or just put it on the one and hope it doesn't tip. Or if I'm even doing this right. I don't know if this is what your suggestion was or not. But that looks pretty good. Ta-da! I like that. That's pretty good. Thank you. Just me nodding my head up and down. Cool beans. I like that method.
and I would like to thank one of my commenters for the idea of how to unload. It worked fairly well. So let me get to doing some weeding. I'll be right back. I could have swore I had narrows on this tractor before. I want to put narrows on so that I don't accidentally uh, destroy crops if they decide to get larger.
I don't see any weeds. Did we not have weeds? Or did we already have weeds, I should say? I don't remember. I think maybe we already had weeds here. I am loving those wheels. You can see through them. That is cool.
Guess there wasn't one there. I don't like how it gets rid of the grass, but it will not get rid of those bushes. That's annoying. I think there was a baby tree there that I cut down. And I didn't know it. Not seeing any more. Did I already get all of these? Oh, I hit something. If there was one there, it's gone. Yep, I think I got all of these. Alright, well, what's up now? I suppose... Well, I'm not going to try and remove the sticks yet, because I'll inevitably miss them. I might as well. I was going to say plow, but... I need to remove some more trees. Time is it? 17.33. get the map on here. 180 degrees is a straight line this way. Not that way. That way. Too far. me to no end. Well, you cut. Cut that one too low. Curious if I'm going to have a problem right there. Um, let's put uh, something obnoxious there. Sure, the road pattern. There. That way I'll know if I had a problem there or not. Or when I have a problem, I'll know that's where it's at. Alright, well... That 180... I think I left three trees out in the center. 
but I think I need to go back and do a wider path. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good for now. There, did it. It wasn't grabbing for me. was a weird sound. I don't know if you heard that start up, but yeah, definitely different. Alright, it's not there, it's over here. And I'd really like to get that chunk. If I can mulch that up. I say mulch, but I mean chew it up. Yep. No, don't get in there. I'd probably end up mulching up the tree that I wanted to sell. I feel like I'm missing some stumps to the right. Oh, that's right. That's where that one was. And the other one is behind these two. Turn the mulcher off and use it to push. And that's why I turned it off, because I went over top of them. I didn't see any wood chips fly. Well, but I ate it. Tilt it up a little bit so we can get this tree. And I got those two stumps. Come on, let's move. Got two to the right. I'll get this one. I'm gonna have nightmares about tree stumps. I think that's all of them. Is there one up here for this tree? There it is. Over here. It's hard to see with this light shadows all right um, in the comments would you please let me know what your thoughts are on me getting the Trex tree eater because I'm thinking about using it on all those trees that I hate 
I won't do it on the money trees. The pines. Let's see, where do I want to leave this mulching head? here. Oh, and there's a stump right there. He thought he was going to get away from me. if I'll be able to get the rest of these logs on this load or not. going the other way. I was going to hook it to the front. Oh well. I'll come back for it. Probably faster that way than having to unhook and flip it around when I'm trying to get it hooked up right when I get there. Alright, where do I leave the trees at? Right here. Oop, they're set right there. Alright, let's park this right here. Hopefully it's level enough. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, let's go get the weight. Yeah, that won't be the biggest expansion, but it'll be something. Yeah, so I want to get that big Trex machine. It costs 6000 a day for the first day. But I'd like to get that over here and see what it does to those big trees. And maybe it would do the uh, sticks on the ground better than the little mulcher that I've got. I'm not sure. Be worth a try. that extended and of course I'm up in space I need to get down a little bit better so I can see what I'm doing notice I use that flip of the X piece if you grab the logs when it's flipping down it raises them up ever so slightly more even when you've got a big bundle So I make sure I attempt it. I was going to say I make sure I do it every time, but I can't. I mean, I attempt to do it every time. So I unhook it, go forward, stop. I'll hit the brakes just to make it whip. And then as it comes down, I'll hit the strap button. And a lot of times when you see it come up to where the log hits the, the arm, it'll actually tip it back. It didn't on that time. It left it perfectly horizontal, but perfectly horizontal is good. Tipped back is better. Tipped forward is unacceptable. Lined up good. So yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a way to load logs. Um, I am going to purchase I don't know if I'm going to purchase or lease um, there is a loader 
that has a large jaw. And I guess I need to know if anybody else has used it. As soon as I set this in there, I will open up the window for it. We'll go to the shop. Oh, they're getting wonky. Come on. And when I say they're getting wonky, they're getting alive. And they start wobbling. Come on, don't you want to go home? There. Set him down just a little bit. Let's push him down some more. And I'm on the post. And now I'm going to pull him off because I'm a noob. Dag on it. Let's see if we can lift it back up. like that almost didn't quite get up and push it forward and actually that's what I was trying to do the first time was get it to roll over to the other side and it didn't oh no too much too much much get off of there and I hooked it come on just lay in a groove there somewhere there you go Stop messing with the kill. Road kill. I don't know, sometimes I call myself road, sometimes I call myself kill. RK. Coming up with a new logo, and it's pretty simple. It's just the letters, and the R's backwards. But I found a font that is, looks like a skunk. It's uh, hollow in the center has a stripe down the center. I don't remember what the name of it is right now. But the program that I use, and I can't even remember the name of that right off the top of my head, doesn't have that font. So I'm trying to make up this logo and I don't have access to the font that I want. And I don't want to have to just buy a program to get that font. So yeah, I'm, I'm on the hunt. It's out there. I just got to find it. They must have it under a different name. And that is a very wonky log load. No, too hot. And we can fix this. Grab the one, slide them all forward. Oh, what happened there? He went over top of it. And that's all right. And that's, I wonder if that's going uphill because I was hitting them. All right, now this is a case where the front end is going to be down. See how it's angled down? That is unacceptable. That will hit when I try to load, as I will slowly demonstrate so that I can fix it before I cause a major problem. But we'll line this up. Oops, we're offline. And right there, oh my goodness, it just made it. Well, this edge went over, but the other edge is caught. Come on, slide up there, slide up there. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I've got, you can angle, there we go. You can angle the head and I don't have it highlighted, otherwise I'd have been able to do it. Oh, I'm lowering it, there. I'm raising it up and back. Oh, I didn't have much back. Anyway, we're up there. Like I said, we weren't gonna be able to. <laughs> And now I want to, I want to bring it back in. How do I, come on. Oh, I'm still on that mode. Dang on it. Now I'm shooting clear past. All right, let's do 
that and then slide it in to pull it back and down oh that's yeah that little the little thing is wonking me the little nubbin come on jump up there we go there's a little nubbin right there can't grab it and it probably weigh too much oh I got it yeah and it weighs too much I can't get it out oh I still got a hold of it <laughs> all right uh, how do I let go of it nope I don't have a hold of it anyway I was playing around there too much all right let's get this off of there extend that up we're calling that a load because it's Wonkville. I wanted to get... Oh, can I get... How much is there left? Oh no, there's three, four bundles. I was going to say, if there was one bundle left, I'd put that on the gripper, or up on the X bar. Oh, what a silly noob. i got to load it before I take off. Yeah, there's one, two, three, really only three bundles left. Oh well, I can't carry three bundles at once. So I'm out of here. Another load. So I'm waffling just a little bit. What I want to do next, I mean, obviously, cut down trees. Um, but for the farm, I'm not sure what I my next goal is. I still have a plan for the front area here by this road that I cleaned out a while ago and never got back to it because we were messing with animals. Which, speaking of which, are getting up there. I don't remember. Ooh, that was a wobble. I don't remember how many I bought of each for sure. I think it was one full semi load, is what I started with. Maybe it was two loads. No, I filled up the sheep finally. No, I didn't. I don't remember. All right, so my new way of unloading is to pull up like that, hit the unload, and just let it push me forward with the logs. I'll stay back there. Oh, no, that was not planned. No harm done, though. It just doesn't look right. And that looks even wrong. I don't understand quite why those hang up there. And you got to get in their space. And they're not even going to clear this time. Huh. Oh, because I didn't unstrap them. My bad. There we go. All right, well, I didn't even look at it to see how much I got. I'm sure it was around 29, that's what I always get. So yeah, if I would have unstrapped that, then that kind of gets rid of the whole backing up and ramming, and that's a little better. Oh, you know what? I said I was gonna show you the item I'm thinking about getting that has a large jaw. So let's park right here. And let's go to Forestry Machines. It's a mod. Let's 
it's going to try those. I thought it was a mod. Maybe it's this one. Yes. It gives you the option of a little claw, which looks to me to be the standard claw, or a larger one. So I'm hoping I could get three logs in a pickup with that. I don't like that it comes with this trailer, but... And this is without shield. That is... oops, little claw, big claw. Oh, that's the engine. What's this shield? With shield, without shield. There's something on the undercarriage. Well, I wonder how low that goes. Okay. Uh, wheels. Wides are always better when you're hauling big loads. I'm not a fan of those. We're not doing... Okay, so now I lost my wides. There we go. With shield, big claw. HJM power. 450 horsepower. Sure, I'll do that for $3,000. That's nothing. So guess what? I'm getting ready to buy this thing. I'm not going to lease it. I'm going to buy it and make myself work it. So, there we go. Um, let's customize it and make it our own so that we stick with it. think I'm nuts, don't you? Okay, I think I did that backwards. We'll do that. And that. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Okay, I was playing. Give me a break. I was playing. I could make it camouflage, and then I wouldn't be able to find it in the trees. And when you do that, you make the wheel rims... Oh, that's main color. No, I want main color to be flat olive and rim color to be dirt. There. That's kind of my favorite little color scheme for camouflaging in the timber. And then you can't find your equipment. So we don't want to do that. Um, don't know how to pronounce that color but I think we could find that out in the timber and it doesn't cost me anything so we'll give it a try so guess what I'm spending money that I don't know what I had earmarked for but we are going to try the big claw and see what happens so let me park this somewhere and I'm going to call the episode right there and do the new claw on the next episode. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.